Good afternoon guys, this is your Sir DRV again and welcome back for another Among Gods video. So I was actually put a hard stop on uh, our campaign right now. So I'm currently stuck on 1215. This is actually pretty hard on me and I need to upgrade my uh, power more uh, to at least um, maybe 500,000 to in order for me to beat this boss because this Hanzo is uh, pretty strong um, he's um, mutilating our back line and it's hard for me to <laughs> beat this boss so uh, for today uh, we are going to talk about um, some tips um, I will actually give you 10 tips that uh, will help you uh, along the way and uh, for uh, those uh, newbies or new player who is starting this game I think this will be helpful for you okay so number one tip what you need to do is to save your gems only use gems for uh, tavern and relic summons and also by buying this um, sacred daily pack for a total of six days you will have a chance to purchase this uh, resources from here so all you need to do is to go to the event so what are the important uh, purchase from here so at day one yeah you can purchase this and this one uh, it's very helpful and you can purchase the day two as well day three this one used for um, upgrading your armors and weapons and this one this is pretty helpful as well buy this one and then no question ask this one is uh, good as well and also um, you need to purchase this because uh, later on um, it'll uh, you won't have uh, enough of this uh, you really need more of this okay so next um, this one this is pretty helpful for if you are free to play uh, I suggest you save up 4,000 gems because this is 4,000 gems I re as I remember so you need this um, this will be helpful for you okay so this one I did not purchase this because you can easily get this on the uh, on the hero course heroic crusade okay and uh, this one and I didn't I did not purchase this because you can also um, um, create this one for you but if you have extra gems then I suggest you purchase this as well all right so yes uh, aside from that aside from buying that I suggest you use all of your gems on uh, getting or summoning heroes okay so use everything every, every gems that you have for summoning because um, you will need those uh, to get extra copy of the hero that you have all right and also um, I suggest uh, whatever um, faction recruitment voucher that you have um, for a total of 30 make sure to summon 10 from each first okay because you will get um, an extra S hero uh, a guaranteed S hero uh, for the first 10 summon so yeah summon 10 each so you can get that guaranteed all right, so for that tavern, if you really need to pump up your um, power for a little bit, then I suggest you use your uh, gems as well here. Uh, probably a couple of uh, summons, uh, a couple uh, crop 10 times at least per week. Uh, it will be pretty helpful. Okay, so my next tip, uh, second, is after reset, it's much better to uh, leave boss fights when you can't move further on the crusade and campaigns. Same with a guild boss. Uh, by doing so, you will increase your chance of getting m much more resources by making higher uh, damage. Uh, so, for example, uh, here on the Nightmare, make sure to uh, leave the best for last, okay? <laughs> uh, make sure to uh, battle the Stonehenge first, Crusade, Crusade, the Trial of Truth, Bounty Quest, and whatever uh, it is that you can do to increase your power. And then, uh, once you're done, if you're stuck on the normal campaign and the elite campaign, then, then go to 
uh, battle these bosses in order for you to gain an extra um, resources so that uh, because uh, because of more damage okay same uh, same with the guild boss there's also a guild, guild boss here where's the guild boss the trials okay so here it is so make sure to leave this bosses for last okay okay quick tip number three make sure to review and plan your combo skills based on the available hero you have okay so here's what i'm saying okay so if you go to here to the normal campaign and you click battle you will see something on the left side so here on the left side you can click this and you can see uh the combo skills that is available for you all right so whatever hero that you have from here then it's much better to build your team according to the available hero that you have all right so as you can see um, eternal royalty i can um, use this because i have heroes here unlocked uh, those heroes that is grayed out that means you don't have that hero yet all right so yeah uh, plan your hero uh, or your lineup based on uh, the available heroes that you have that is for uh, free to play and um, no, for not well for rails then you can probably they have a lot of uh, <laughs> diamonds to summon most probably they all have their uh, heroes on the list here okay uh, next tip number four um, use hero three minimum of three faction okay three same faction at the same time okay uh, by doing this you'll have uh, extra bonus like this and but if you can uh, do four or five then that's uh, that's better and at the same time if you can do four or five and still getting faction com uh, advanced combo so what i'm talking about is the faction combo um, if you can incorporate it with another combo which is the advanced combo below then that will be uh, much better so yeah plan your uh, hero make sure you're using this combos because it's much better to have this uh, increased attribute allies okay attack plus 10 percent and health plus 10 percent for uh, using three same faction hero all right so that's it for quick number four uh, tip number four so tip number five focus resource and upgrade to one hero dps only okay so what i'm talking about is this one so if you're just starting out um i highly suggest you focus on um upgrading only one hero your main dps okay so um the upgrade materials here on this game is pretty um scarce if you're just starting out and it's hard to get more materials to uh to be used for upgrade so if you're if you want to um, have a much higher damage and um, just focus on upgrading your weapon first for your main hero okay so as you can see my main damager here is Nero uh, I did focus on his uh, damage and as you can see my armor and weapon has set combo effect so we have a set combo effect from here if you, as you can see i have um apocalypse of doom combo and then uh, ultimate barrier set so make sure to take a look uh take note of this combo as well or um set information okay all right so for tip number six um it's much better to focus on hero ascension ascension phase and star rating rather than um to have a uh, rather than the level so what i'm talking about is increase the hero this is the hero ascension from here as you can see my uh, um, my decade is already purple and some of them are already purple because i'm focusing on their ascension okay oh uh, 
the other thing that I wanted to um, so the other thing is the hero um, star star rating so right now my star rating for my deck AG is 8 star and I'm planning to uh, make him uh, a 9 star hero soon as you can see on the miracle All right, so what I need is uh, another 8 star and uh, as you can see, I only need one more of this hero and then I can use her as a food to upgrade my Mighty Cage into 9 star. All right, so yeah, focus on one hero only. So if you gain, uh, if your main damager uh, if you're lucky to get at least three copies of your main damager then or four copies of your main damager then you can make him um, at least nine star or maximum nine star okay all right so what else uh, we are at number at tip number seven so tip number seven don't forget to uh, challenge Stonehenge get resource from heroic crusade and interior as well as um yeah those three because they have a restoration timer as you can see if you go to heroic crusade um once uh this fills up to eight hours you will no longer gain any uh, materials and resources so make sure to at least uh take a look at your account every eight hours and the same goes with the interior so what what are what is the interior interior is if you click this joe on in the middle it will show you this uh free resources that have a restoration timer okay so as you can see the further um stage you go to uh campaign it will upgrade it will be upgraded all right so right now i don't have anything to claim but uh, make sure to um check your accounts every now and then okay all right so tip number eight it's always better to put heroes on the nightstand so you can use them for combos and additional hero for arena and advanced arena all right so here's what i'm talking about the nightstand if you click king archer in the middle it will redirect you to the nightstand and um yeah always put heroes from here on the right side because it will be helpful for you uh if you want to um create a, a different combo in in a specific battle if you want to um uh, go to a battle with um uh, let's say arena advanced arena so it will be helpful for you okay so next bonds levels all right so what is the bonds level so if you go to the bonds here okay let me just show you again if you go to army on the right lower right and then go to bonds um you can actually activate this bonds permanently how you can do that by making your hero uh, eight stars so um you can activate this permanently by making your hero eight star or by uh, borrowing an eight star hero from your friend so if your friend have an eight star hero then you can use it for activating bonds permanently so as you can see i already have uh, two bonds activated permanently uh three actually uh number one is here i i borrow uh, from this guy and um next one is this one and the last the last uh, bonds that i have is where are you where are you i here here the pursuer so uh if you have joan of arc and you already have her at eight star then uh, it will be uh, um, activated permanently so you can now um make her as a food so make sure to uh your a heroes like this the higher make sure to before uh, um 
giving him as a food to another hero make sure to at least make him an eight star first okay all right so i'm planning to make julia bipsiania to eight star so that i can activate the bonds permanently all right so yeah that's that's my uh, ninth uh, tip the last tip is the market and some purchases so what are the daily purchase that i'm doing on the market or in the store um, if you go to the store or general store on the lower right side of your screen you can see the general store here uh, the most useful purchase that i'm buying here is is the recruitment voucher and the four star random fragment the hero powder powder don't worry about gold there's tons of gold that you can get this one i'm talking about this one so yeah keep on buying this hero powder because you need tons of this and just to um get more copies of your a uh, you can buy this normal recruitment voucher as well and i always buy this uh, nightmare campaign buster call so that i can use it for uh, more hero powder every day because uh, we really need to have or to get tons of that hero powder so the other things on the list on here is optional so if you if you need hero xp then you can buy this but um i think that there will be enough e exp from the boss fights that you can get so you don't have to buy this uh, probably uh, the first day and second day you need to buy this but uh, moving forward third fourth you don't have to actually buy this one anymore so for the soul stone so for the soul stone you can purchase this um, four star fragment and then three star elite fragment so i suggest you focus on getting the four star random fragment here uh, although you can uh, get a four star a hero it's much better than uh, buying a three star elite fragment right here because the equivalent of this one <clears throat> the equivalent of this one is almost uh, three uh, they are the same but sometimes you can get different hero from this uh, three star elite fragment so yeah that's the only difference from here you can get uh, an already built uh, four star hero so there's also a chance that you can get s star hero from the random fragment so for the arena store if you are if you have enough um, um enough uh what's this hero coins then you can purchase this one and then this one this is pretty helpful and then next purchase it, it will be all up to you because uh, if you are if you have Oda and Tamiris, Abinosaime, it's all up to you if you want to buy them, okay? But um, for me, I would buy uh, Abinosaime in the future because he is actually pretty helpful. Okay, so I think that's it for now. And I hope I was able to uh, give you uh, the tips that you need uh, to um increase your power if you're uh, a newbie or if you're just starting up so if you have uh some suggestions comments please leave a comment down below and i will surely read it and uh, let's see if uh, there's other tips that i can give you on the comment section okay um also pretty available in discord if you have any questions just go to the description i have a discord link there and you can also put, uh, post your questions in the comment section down below, okay? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thank you very much. You have a great day today and I'll see you again on my next video. Goodbye for now.